Good morning, Bachelor. I'm Aiden. And I'm Simon. And we got that mixed up. I'm Simon. And I'm Aiden. And, and this, this is your Friday, Friday morning newscast. newscast. Please I stand for a moment of silence, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As you know, I step is coming up very soon, and we are all so oh. excited. It's okay, Simon. It's okay, Simon. It's okay. Let's take it to Miss Stop that teaches how we can relieve stress for I step, and then Mr. Gilpin teaches how we can prepare for I step. What is a good way to relieve test anxiety? Well, I think the best way is to think about I step is just a measure of what you already know. So um, get good sleep, eat breakfast and do the best job you can do with the information you already know. How have past Bulldogs done on the I-STEP test? You know, really good. We're typically an A-B school and we're really proud of our Bulldogs. Study. What you can do is make sure you just get a good night's rest, relax, enjoy, and, and just take the test and, and I'm sure you'll do your best. But uh, there's really no, I'm going to study a bunch of books and be ready to go for the test because that's what we've been doing all year, preparing you for the I-STEP. Why is it important to do well in the I-STEP? It's important to do uh, well in the I-STEP because it does two things for us. First, it shows us exactly where you're at academically so we know um, what, where we can help you or what you need uh, to be able to do. We ask that you just do your best and, and it gives us a measurement of how much you've grown from the year before. It also helps us as instructors to know what we covered or didn't cover or what we didn't cover well or what we should have covered differently. What are you doing? I'm practicing my air viola. Why? I want to be on the next ISMA team. The what my team? You know, the band, choir, and orchestra thing. No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, well, let's take it to an interview with orchestra member Carson Canada. Maybe he can help you out. Maybe. So at ISMA, did your group win any medals? Yes, we won a gold medal. What was the experience at ISMA? Well, at first I was kind of nervous, and then whenever my group got on stage and we just started playing, it all felt very nice. It was natural and I just had a pleasant experience. In other news, BTV raised over $1,000 for Big Brothers Big Sisters in Bowl for Kids' Sake. It was awesome. Hey, hey, Simon, you like baseball, right? Yeah, I do. And speaking of awesome, did you watch the Blues score those slam dunks on the Celtics last year in the World Series? That was totally awesome. Yeah, was awesome. I love that. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? Nope. nope. Well, let's take it to the real sports casters. Good morning, Bulldogs, and this is your Friday morning sports cast. The eighth grade girls' basketball games were on Tuesday and Thursday. They played great. The seventh grade girls had a game on Thursday. They played good as well. The swim team had a meet on Monday and Thursday. They swam like a bunch of fish. Did you see that swim team? They were really fast. Did you see Morgan Blackwell and Sarah Hannon hitting them threes? Otherwise known as ballin'. Now here's to some of this week's highlights of our sporting events. <laughs> Now to Mitchell and Tasha with the feature. Hi, we're not the sportscasters. Hey, I'm Mitchell. And I'm Sagel. And, and this, this is your Friday, Friday morning feature. This month is Black History Month. Black History Month is celebrated annually in the United States, Canada, and in the United Kingdom. It is the remembrance of important people and events in, in the history of African American disposal. An important figure of Black History Month in Indiana is Judge Talaferro. Judge Talaferro was a retired juvenile judge and the first African-American judge in Monroe County. Her story is important because it shows how she overcame segregation to get where she is now. And now to an interview with Judge Talaferro. I went to a segregated school. I went by bus 14 miles to get to a school that was in nowhere near as good a school 
as white children had. They had, they had buildings that looked like school buildings. There must have been six different buildings where I went to school. There was a school for mechanics. We didn't have an auditorium. We didn't have this. We didn't have that. Certainly an inadequate one, but one where I learned a lot anyway since I was reading when I was four years old. And I had, I, I wanted to learn. There was no way I could have been deprived of the opportunity to learn. But I Thanks. And now to the trivia. The answer to last week's trivia was 5, 10, and 20. Now to Ms. Maddie for this week's brain trainer. This week's brain trainer question comes to you from the language arts department. Is a dictionary considered a piece of non-fiction text? I repeat, is a dictionary considered a piece of non-fiction te text? Please report your answers to Mr. Rudkin in room 222. This is BTV. Signing off.